guys, a skeletal horse. I've never seen one of these before in Minecraft. Whoa, and it got shot by lightning, and now it's multiples. Let's run. Hello, survivors, and welcome back to Paul Plays Minecraft 1.9. We're picking up just about where we left off in the last episode here in the village of Meadowbrook. And uh, we had gone underground in the last episode, didn't we, in search of emeralds in the extreme hills biome, which is right outside the door here. But unfortunately, we came up empty. Not a single single emerald. And look at all these scavengers here. You guys are like car salesmen. I want my emeralds. I don't have any emeralds, dude. Get out of here. What do you want? You want my rotten flesh for the emeralds. Okay, tell you what, I will make a, I will make a deal with you. I'm going to do a little trading right now. In fact, uh... You know what, pal? Your prices are a little higher than that guy out there. I'm pretty sure somebody out there sells them for 38. So, you know, it's a dog eat dog world. He's undercutting your price. See, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm not making a trade with you. There you are. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, that guy. That other guy inside. Yeah, his price is way too high. Dog eat dog world, right, Ragnar? Right. Yes, I knew it. See, there we go. Let's see what else you have to trade here. Uh, Emerald for lapis. No, 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 no. Yeah, terrible, terrible trades. Okay, I just wanted to get that out of the way, so now we have another emerald. And check out all the iron that I found, as well as all the lapis, and got a ton of gold as well. So, yeah, we're looking pretty good in that department. Um, however, today, guys, what I really want to do is let me show you this mountain. Oop, 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 excuse. That mountain right there, see how it's snow-capped? It's nice and cold and chilly and snowy. Well, I think we're going to build a, uh, a cabin up here, a log... A longhouse, a log longhouse, Viking style, um, and we're going to do that today. So I have gone out and I've collected a bunch of spruce wood, but I'm going to need more. I'm going to need probably twice what I have already, so we will go uh, we'll go collect some of that wood right now. However, I wanted to do something. Excuse me, pal. I want to make a um, an anvil over here and do some repair work. Because I have 25 levels. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, watch yourself. i got to put this down. I don't want to crush your toes. How about right uh, there? Uh, <laughs> I just want to repair my helmet, at the very least. This has um, projectile protection on it. So one level, two levels to get it almost full. Hmm. All right, let's just do three. Maximum. Maximum repair. Plop that back on the old noggin to protect the brains. That's where the brains is. is. I'm pretty sure anyway, that's what they tell me. And I think we are ready to rock and roll. I've got some food. Got some dog chow. I'm saving that for the dog, of course. Um, and yeah, all right, let's go. Let's go, 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 go before it gets dark. So I have not even been back to Heidi Hole yet. I've been hanging around with these clowns <laughs> all this time. So I did go looking around for a good place for our longhouse to be. This is going to be kind of a combination of Viking-style longhouse with... Uh, we're going to use heavy wood logs. I actually grew all these trees here. Some of them still haven't popped yet, but um, I'm going to have to cut down more. But this is going to be sort of a... Uh, oh, I love this little shelf, the way it hangs out like that. But look at all the bad guys in there. Yeah, you want to come and get some? Actually, I want to preserve that axe. We're going to do some enchanting with that later. Come on out. Come on. Come on. Closer. You know you know you want it. <laughs> get him, Ragnar. Let's see if we get any dog food out of this guy. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So what we want to do is build a, a log longhouse up here in the snow where it's nice and cold. And it will snow here instead of rain if we get any precipitation. And we're going to go to the very highest tippity toppity. Hi, guys. Look at these hogs. Sacred hogs? No. So what we're going to do is build right here in the clouds, although I'm going to try to get above the clouds. We're going to raise the log house up a little bit so it'll even be higher than the clouds. We'll be right up here with the Viking gods where we belong. And the sacred pink sheep will be up here as well because I think I'm going to move them up here to the long house. Um, and we'll do our enchanting up here. We'll get the power of the sacred pink sheep. We can enchant, we can do some potion brewing. So all our magic is going to happen up there. And our meditating. It's going to be kind of a, uh, like a, a retreat as well where we can go and just kind of meditate and uh, get in tune with um, with the spirits and nature and, and, and the gods, the Viking gods, of course. But first things first, I'm going to need a lot more wood. 
So I'm just going to chop down all these trees. I'm going to need about twice what I have here. Well, guys, it just started to rain. At least down here in the valley, it's raining. Up in the mountain, where we're going to build up our log house, it is actually snowing. That's what I love about that spot up there. It's not a true snow biome, unfortunately, but that's something that we'll have to go out and find. I still have not found one yet. And ultimately, I do want to move into a snowy biome somewhere with ice and snow and also hopefully near a coastline. If we can find a snowy biome with a coastline, it would be amazing. So anyway, we're just going to have to settle. Ooh, Ooh that was close. I think that's a sign. It's a sign from the Viking gods above. They approve. They approve of our work here, Ragnar. They do indeed. They've given us their full support. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> as long as we don't get struck, then, then we'll know. Hey, uh, Scorpa, you might want to take off that metal armor. Oh, wait. No, actually, that's made of gemstones. You're good. I'm the one that's got to worry. I'm in the iron. Woo! That... Whoa! Okay, I'm working on it. I need to get the wood first. Yes, that, that is, that's Odin and uh, Thor telling us to hurry it up. They want to see this longhouse. Guys! Guys, a skeletal horse! I've never seen one of these before! In Minecraft- Whoa! And it got shot by lightning and now it's multiples! Let's run! Okay, let's run! Who did you see that? I'm so glad I got that on camera! We're taking them all down, taking them all down with the axe! I really- Wow! I really wish- uh oh, I'm stuck. I really wish I had Unbreaking 2 on this axe, but we'll just, we'll just have to do. Did you see them get struck by lightning? This is not going to be easy. Let's take care of the creeper first. We're going to need some room to run. And this is sort of a uh, <laughs> little bit of a detour here. I want to get that longhouse built, but I want to take those guys down. I see they're, they've got glowing helmets. So I wonder who sent these after us. Must have been Loki. For some reason, that Loki doesn't want us to build this longhouse on top of that mountain. And there's a creeper. If we can get that creeper to blow next to those guys, woo! That would be awesome. I don't see how we're going to do that. Look at the horse! Oh! One's down! Let's take him down! Take him down! Yeah! Easy as pie! Bang! Alright, let's run in and grab him again. How come you don't want to fight me? Fight me! Fight me! Am I supposed to keep you around for something? Fight me! Bang! Come on! Turn around and fight like a real man. I guess not. Ah. Huh. Rags, you want to help out here? Oh, that is so great. I love them. Can I keep one? They seem nice. Not you, though. I don't want you around here, turkey. They're kind of nice. Oh, look. There's something in, there. in the water. I got a helmet. Why are they so nice? Why are you so nice? Bite me. Do something. What was that? Is that your bones? Oh, this is wicked. All right, let's just get the last couple of trees here. How much wood do I have? Oh, you know what? I think I have enough. Um, although we still have to wait for the sun to come up anyway. We'll get one more. One more. Cover me. And then we'll head up to the top of that mountain and get our longhouse built. Now we better hustle before uh, Odin and Thor lose their patience because they seem to be upset with us. Again, maybe, maybe it was Loki. I don't know. All right, let's do it now. Let's go, go, go. I've got enough wood, I think. Come on, Ragnar. Keep up. All the way to the top where it's snowing. Oh, isn't it lovely? Ooh. And look at all the hogs. We can capture some hogs. Put them in the house. Actually, no. We're putting pink, sacred pink sheep in <laughs> in the long house. We don't want pigs in there. The hogs can live under it because it's going to have a basement. Oh, hello. Mm. Oh, blocks. I can't hit him. Got him. Thanks, Rags, for the backup. Sheesh, just watch, why don't you? Ooh. All right, guys, here comes the sun. Doot and doo doo. And it's all right. Now that the darkness is gone and we can see. Well, no, we can't because we're in a cloud. <laughs> and it's still snowing. Yeah, visibility up here is very awful, especially right now during the snowstorm. Um, but I have friends in high places. So let's beseech Odin and Thor and see if they'll shut the clouds off for us so we can build this longhouse for the sacred pink sheep in their honor. All right, perfect. And obviously we'll just keep the snow because we're Vikings and we like snow. We're going to build in the snow. Here in the poor man's snow biome. 
<laughs> All right, let's get started, shall we? So I have everything we need. In fact, actually, let's change some of these to spruce pine planks. 24 ought to do. And we're going to take our cobble. We're going to lay down the base. So let's start over here by the grass. And do I see it? I do see a creeper. Hello. Um, you know, nope, you are not wanted here. You're not welcome. Sheesh, just came out of nowhere. All right, let's get back to work here. So this is going to be a very small longhouse. It's not going to be like a gigantic one. Um, but for now, like I said, in the poor man's uh, snow biome, we're going to build just a little one here and put the sacred pink sheep up. And then we will uh, we'll build a, a, a real Viking um, longhouse when we get to a real snow biome. Anyway, this is going to be 5 by 10. That's all I'm doing here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, if I counted that correctly, that was 9. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of this darn shield, too. It's right on my face. You know, I really wish that... This wasn't so large when you're just carrying it around. Like, maybe if it were lower and then when you actually block, it can come up in your face like that. That would be better, in my opinion. All right, anyway, now let's get our uh, let's get our planks. And you want to be in here, don't you? That's fine, because you know what? You can live in our basement. It's going to be a little bit uh, short. It doesn't have a lot of headroom, but then again, you don't have a very high head. So it'll be perfect for you. So now we're just going to use our spruce planks <laughs> and cover up the pig. We need a hog after all. It looks like we're going to need a little bit more. But we're going to need a lot of those um, logs too, so don't use all of them. And that's it. Here comes our floor. Just like that. A few more. Yeah, I've only built this one time kind of messing around, so I didn't really um, do any math and figure anything out. So you'll have to bear with me as I do the numbers. And I'm going to capture this piggy right here. You ain't getting out. There we go. You want to go in there too? I could use more than one hog. So now that that's done, let's get the... Let's get some spruce wood out. I think we're done with the cobblestone at this point. So that's just kind of the foundation. Oh, another one? Sheesh. Um, and we're going to go right here in the corners. Go up to the top. Go level with the floor. Just kitty corner on the sides. You're going to attack me eventually, aren't you, Mr. Spider? I knew it. Well, at least he's honest. He said, yeah. Uh, we're going to do the same over here. Again, flush with the floor. And these are our spruce pine logs. Um, so then, fine. Tell you what. Since you are honest, I'm going to let you live. But I'm going to send you off the edge. Okay, goodbye. Honk. Um, okay. So now what we want to do is... Let's fill that in. Um, I'm kind of running off memory here. Are you coming back up? Spider's coming back up. Let's go across this way. Although we can get rid of this one. And now let's go over here to the workbench. And we're going to make, um, let's make four spruce wood stairs. Like that. You want to go in there, don't you? I know he feels lonely. He's like, where did all, all my friends go? I could have sworn I had lots of friends running around. Yeah, well, you're not, you're not kidding. Uh, you want back? <laughs> oh, you're asking for it, aren't you? Cruising for a bruising, as they say. Get out of here. Listen, three strikes, you're out, okay? There, you're out. So now we have the stairs going up to the floor. And now we need some walls. So let's get our spruce wood um, raw logs down here. We're going to put the logs on the outside, like here, on the outside of the floor. So the floor space is going to be five five wide, and then the walls are going to be like this. Again, we're just lying down massive trees that we chopped down with our mighty axe. And we're going to need... Uh, let's put this like this so I can get back up here. And then we run this on this side as well. And we're going to go up two, actually. And I want a little bit of an overhang, so... Yeah, you know, like this, for example, has to go. Let's get rid of that. And then come out one. Come out one. Like that. Alright, now we're going to go up again. Perfect. 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 Alright, now let's do the same over here then. Okay, so now we're going to come in one and go up one. So let's, uh, let's put the scaffolding down. This is just basic dirt. 
and then place it like that. You know what? We might as well just do the whole dang thing while we're up here. It should be relatively straightforward. Let's put all of the dirt in first. And then... Let's get rid of that so I don't get confused. I get confuzzled very easily when I build. There. Perfect! And now all I have to do is go back. All the way back. Cover the entire longhouse in roof. And I hope I have enough. Pretty sure I do. Okay, so now for the front, we want to do some oak planks, I think. And I'm not sure how I did this before, but I think what I want to do is go here, and here, here, and here. And then on the inside, like this. You don't have to use oak if you don't want to. You can use uh, pine or whatever. Um, in fact, I think I might still use some of these logs. I have enough. Oh, man, it's getting dark already. Yeah, let's come down with some logs here. We'll mix it up. We'll mix and match a, a, a bit. How about a... That there and that like that. We'll put the door right in the middle. What do you think? I kinds of liked it. Yeah, now let's make a door. Let's make a spruce door so we can get in there. Whoops! <laughs> so we can get in there. <laughs> I did not try to do that. did not mean to do that. And these spruce doors look awesome. That looks very uh, medieval and dark ages more like, right? Viking style door with the little circle handle and you got the iron across the planks. Love it. And let's give us some light here so we can see what the dickens is going on around here. And I'm sure we're going to get beset by bad guys momentarily. Um... All right, I think I'm just going to clean it up. Let's, well, actually, let's get inside and do the opposite end. And, man, it is really dark inside, isn't it? So we're going to have to do something with some lighting. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the spruce log going across like that. Yeah, so it matches somewhat. And then in these corners over here, we're going to put chests or workbenches or something. I'm not sure yet. But that's the floor space. Oh, I hear the bad guys, and they're here. We did it just in time. Our Viking longhouse. Our mountain retreat and sacred pink sheep home. And by the way, I've done a lot of research on Viking longhouses in order to prepare for this episode. And also just to, uh, I don't know, to have some things to talk about since we're doing sort of a Viking theme in this LP. Um, Vikings in the Dark Ages actually did live with uh, with livestock in the house. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. So that's not uncommon. And we're going to have our all of our five pink sheep living in there with us. Okay, that looks good. Oh, hi! <laughs> our first our first visitor. <laughs> Ragnar, are you biting him? Nice, right through the door. Pretty rough neighborhood, huh, Rags? All right, well, it left a present. That's nice. Very thoughtful. Let's just make sure there's no creepers around now that we just built the place. Okay, and now for the hogs. I want to get this fence up. And I'm going to slam this thing here real quick. There we go. And this fence. And that fence. And now you guys can get some fresh air down there. <laughs> It's a little tight, isn't it? I know, not a lot of headroom, but I'm sorry. But tell you what, I will give you some light, though, at the very least. Give you some lighting. There we go. Um, how's that look? Eh, that's pretty good. Okay. All right, well, there we go. There's our Viking longhouse. Again, this is just a small one for now. We'll build up a much larger and more impressive one with real windows on the sides and maybe multiple floors in the future. But for now, I just wanted to get out of the hidey hole, have a place to move the sacred pink sheep, and do some, uh, like I said, we'll do some enchanting and brewing. This is going to be... Oh, let's turn on the clouds again. This is going to be where we commune with um, with the Viking gods. And the sacred, the sacred pink sheep will give us power. From uh, the celestial power, I, I suppose you could say, right? <laughs> Okay, that's the angle we're looking for. We can see the whole, we can see the side, the entire side, and the front. And I'm wondering if we can see it from down below. 
Mm. Yeah, let's go. Let's go look at it from down below too. Oh, there's a skeletal horse. Wait a minute. I didn't know they would stick around in the sun. Oh. I'm glad I didn't kill you. Wait a minute. I'm actually riding a skeletal horse. D Are you kidding me? Give me this. Wait, let me off. I did not know this, guys. I did not know this, and I'm sure many of you were probably facepalming when I was killing them all. What? You can put a saddle on one? What? Look at the health on this skeleton horse, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> He's much stronger than than Scorpa. But not quite as fast, but still fast. Still fast. Yes, you're faster, Scorpa. You are definitely faster. Oh, now I'm upset with myself for killing all the other ones. Wow. But that's okay. You know what? I wouldn't want more than one. One is fine. One is fine. That is... So now we're going to come up with an awesome name for you. And I don't know what yet. But maybe you're a gift from Loki. Could be. Scorp is going to stay here. We're going to take a ride on... The skeleton horse. <laughs> Look at this. He's crazy. There it is. It is majestic, I agree. I love how it's kind of shrouded in mist. Awesome. Can't really see it very well, but... <laughs> It'll have to do. It'll impress the uh, the locals for sure. And what about my horse? Check this guy out, huh? Mm-hmm. It is made of bones. It sure is. Let's prank Ragnar. Ragnar, come on out. Scorpa has something for you. Come on. It's, it's a uh, squeaky dog toy. Yeah, yeah, squeaky dog tag. <laughs> Dude, is he scared? You're not scared? He's not scared. He's Ragnar. He's Ragnar the Pink. Ragnar the Pink doesn't get scared. <laughs> He's like, so what? <laughs> all right, anyway, guys, I think that's it for now. Hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. And that is a great screenshot right there. Oh, awesome. All right, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.